Hi there! In this tutorial, I'll walk you through how to download and set up your Four Little Line Planner in Windows 6. Our planners come in different designs and styles. Regardless of which planner bundle you purchased, the download and setup process is pretty much the same. Most of our planners now have calendar integration. Make sure you choose the correct link to download the version you need. The link will open up a page like this in your Safari app. Simply download now, download, wait until the download icon at the top right corner to finish downloading. And tap on the icon and the file. It will open up your files app and you can see a zip file here in the downloads folder. Simply click the zip file and it will just auto unzip. Click to open the folder and you'll see the planners here. You may see different planner files depending on which planner package you bought. If you're looking for a specific layout, you can change the list view to see the file name. I generally label the file name in a way that you can easily find the one you need. So for example, this one is a 2025 planner with balanced daily layout, Apple Calendar integration, and the weekly start date is Monday. Okay. Let's choose this one, click on the share icon, choose the good notes icon. If you can't see it, click more and find it here. Or you can scroll down and choose opening good notes. If these download links aren't working for you, you can try the Google Drive link and navigate the folders to find the planner version you need. And click on the three dots, Opening, GoodNotes or your note-taking app. Now we have the planner opening GoodNotes 6. First, let me explain how hyperlinks work in GoodNotes 6. You can tap on the pen icon at the top center on and off to switch between the read mode and write mode. If you like to use your pen to navigate the planner, you need to turn on the read mode. Otherwise, you can use your fingertip like so. This will work whether you are on the read mode or write mode. On the copyright page, you may see some info about the calendar integration. Make sure you read this to properly install the shortcuts for the calendar integration. For full demo on how to use the calendar integration, you can check out the video link in the description. If you can't see anything about the calendar integration, that means the planner you currently on does not have this feature. You can just skip this step. Now, I'll quickly go through how to navigate the planner. Here's the index page where you can go to the lifestyle templates such as wellness, nutrition, notes templates, custom sections. You can also go to these pages by clicking on these icons at the top right corner. On the right side, you can click on these tabs to go to the yearly calendar and monthly calendars. And on the monthly calendar, you can tap on the dates to go to the daily planning page. And you can tap on the week numbers to go to the weekly planning page. From the weekly planner, you can tap on the dates to go to daily planner, where you can tap on the view week button to go back to weekly planner. And at the bottom right corner, you can jump between weekly planner, weekly schedule, weekly reflection, and weekly meal planner. For a complete guide to how to navigate the planner, you can check out this video. I've included the video link in the description. Next, I'll show you how to import sticker book. Let's download the stickers like we did with the planner.
The GNOTE sticker book looks like a zip file, but it actually is not. Just open it in GNOTE in the same way we open the planner. One thing I want to point out here is that make sure you choose Import as new document to import a sticker book to GoodNotes. If you choose Import to current document, the sticker book will import right into the planner, which obviously is not what we want. The same goes for when you open another planner while you are on the planner. Make sure you choose Import as new document, otherwise the two planners will be merged into one document the sticker book includes essential stickers in 5 colors plus some extra stickers. Simply use the lasso tool to copy and paste the sticker like so. Now let me show you how to use the free 10,000 stickers that come with the planner. We'll save the stickers to the Elements tool of GoodNotes. First, choose the stickers you like. Click on Share. Save Images. Now go back to GoodNotes. Choose the Elements tool. Click on the little plus button here to create a new collection for the stickers. Add photos. Select the stickers and add. Give the sticker collection a name and create. You can also use the split view so that you can better navigate the stickers and find the one you need and drag the sticker to the planner like so. Next, I'll show you how to change the cover of the planner by which you can learn how to delete, copy and paste pages in GoodNotes. Let's download the covers like we did with the planner Choose Import as new document. Let's choose a cover and click on three dots. Copy page. Go back to the planner. Go to the index page and navigate to the cover page. Choose Move Page to Trash to delete the existing cover and click on the four little squares icon at the top left corner. Click on the down arrow on the copyright page, add page before and paste page. There you go, we have a different cover for the planner. Now you are all set for the planner. I'll use a simple example to show you how to use the planner with some basic tools in GoodNotes. Let's do some time blocking on the daily schedule on the daily page. Let's choose the pen tool. Adjust the stroke thickness. Choose a pen color. Draw a rectangle. and hold the pen tip until you get a perfect rectangle. Let's do another one. This time, I won't type instead of write. We can use the text tool to type in the planner.
and this is the razor tool if you make a mistake. Well, I've made a comprehensive tutorial for GoodNotes 6. Make sure you check out that tutorial if you are new to GoodNotes. If you are an experienced user, check out the tips and tricks part. You may find something useful. Thank you so much for supporting 42 Line. I'll see you in my next video.